Adding image effects to your photos and embellishments is the perfect way to take your page from special to spectacular. Scrapbook Max makes this easy by providing you with tons of special effects to change the tone, color, and texture of your photos and embellishments. Let's have a look at some of them together. To get to the effects menu, right click on the photo or embellishment that you want to add an effect to and choose effects. The first few effects are photo design and retouching tools. Let's have a look at the crop effect. When you choose crop, your photo is presented to you within a cropping box. You can either move the box around with your mouse, or you can resize the box and move it over the part of the picture that you would like to capture. Choose OK, and your cropped image will appear on your page. You can now continue to work with your photo by moving it, rotating it, and resizing it. You can even add more effects to it. The only difference is that it is cropped to your new specifications. Red Eye Removal works in a similar way. Let's go to our Effects menu and choose Red Eye Removal. You are presented with a bounding box which you can position over the red eye portion of your photo. This photo doesn't contain any red eyes. We're just going to use it as an example. Next, you will need to adjust the saturation threshold and color range and press apply to remove the red eye effect. It may take a couple of tries to get it just right, but the results can be quite good. And if you don't like the result of a change you just made, simply choose undo. Next, on our list, we also have remove scratches. If you have a photo that looks a bit grainy, this effect can give it a smoother appearance. Just right click on your photo, choose effects, then remove scratches like I've shown you here, and then the imperfections in your photo will be softened. Now the next couple of features in the effects menu allow you to change the orientation of your photo or embellishment. Remember, you can add effects to embellishments too. Let's try out the flip horizontal effect on our large curved embellishment at the bottom of the page. Notice how the highest point of the curve is on the left hand side of my page. I think that if it was on the right, the whole page would look better. So I right click on the embellishment, choose effects, and then flip horizontal. Perfect. Now I'm going to choose flip vertical to show you what that does as well. Remember, you can undo this effect or any action that you've just done in your page. Choose the curved undo arrow at the top of the design space. The rest of the effects in this menu alter the color, texture, mood, and tone of your images. There are so many that we can only go over a few of them together in this video, but I encourage you to experiment with them on your pages to find your favorite effects. Grayscale and Sepia change your color photos into artistic or old-fashioned looking pictures. I'm going to apply a grayscale to this photo. Remember, you can always click on the undo button to reverse an effect. If you want, you can add one effect on top of another, such as adding Sepia a couple of times. I'm going to click on this photo and add the Sepia effect for the first time. Notice the change. And now I'm going to click on it again, and we've added Sepia once more. Notice how the effect is intensified? Or you can also add different effects to the same photo. Let's add a mosaic effect to the photo that we've already added a Sepia effect to. Select Mosaic, and there we go. But let's undo this for the particular layout. I think the emboss effect is one of my favorites, so I'm going to show you this. You'll notice that you can also access advanced effects on the effects menu. This gives you a whole list of further effect options. You can select it at the bottom of the menu. What's neat about these effects is that you have control over how the effect itself is applied. I'm going to select the Adjust Color option. 
I can then further specify the result of this effect by adjusting the hue, saturation, and lightness. Just click Apply to add the changes. Now if I don't like it, I can choose Undo. Or I can make further adjustments. When I like the results, I click OK. And the embellishment with its new color is added to the page. There are lots of other image effects in the Advanced menu. Many of them will allow you to control aspects of the effect depending on the effect you choose. For instance, let's choose the spin wave effect for our photo. I'm going to scroll down to select spin wave. Here we can make several adjustments particular to this effect or you can just choose apply. I'm going to undo this though for this particular layout. I encourage you to try out many effects that come with Scrapbook Max. Apply them to photos and embellishments to transform the look of your pages. It's easy and the undo button is always handy in case you want to try another effect or if you want to go back to the look of your original image. For other Scrapbook Max tips and tricks, have a look at our list of other video tutorials. Happy scrapping!